It just fucking boom, 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 right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Why is it fucking hinged in the middle? Yeah. Uh, like every time I see it, it's a surprise. Because yeah. God had to make it that way. It was too large otherwise. Oh, oh, shit. oh my god! Because they are people. Right. Jesus. <laughs> what the fuck, man? It's just a job, man. Just, you're just you, fucking around. You ever see an ex-porn star doing an interview? It's like, oh, it thinks it's a person. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. That was for you. I'm sorry. So welcome, everybody. Oh, yeah. Aaron's here. I'm, I'm not doing that. Okay. Welcome, everyone, to another episode of Dollar Bit of Doom. It, feel, oh it feels weird God. if you don't do it. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> Why? It feels, like I'm, it feels like I'm cheating on the entire podcast. Can you shut the fuck up? All right, I'll yeah. try. Anyway, yeah. speaking of the suck, uh, we watched uh, The Love Bullet or something. Nope. Love and a bullet. Love and a ball sack. <laughs> Love and the bullet. This Love and the a huge black dick. Yeah. Spoilers. Yeah, uh, don't ruin it, dude. Yeah. So the reason we have a four-person panel is because Tom is leaving... Tomorrow morning. Yep. Tomorrow morning for two months, something like that? Yeah, something close to that. And we yeah. asked Aaron if he wanted to record. We're like, that fucking idiot Tom is leaving our home. Will you please record to fill the shitty space that he leaves? And I'm like, boy, howdy, brother. Let and me you're like, you I'd it. love to, but I can only do Monday. And we're like, fuck. <laughs> and you can't uninvite him. That's yeah. right. You can't, you can't be like, oh, oh well, never mind. Yeah, Thank never you. mind. Thank you very much. Maybe another time. <laughs> Thanks for asking. And you're like, you asked. Me. Well, oh boy, am I so glad I was here for this movie. Oh, yeah. I actually, oh, yeah. It's so yeah. Um, I, d- I, I hate think... I hate everyone in this room, but I feel closer to each and every one of you because I saw that black dick with you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. It's I... amazing how big black dong can like bring people bring together. Bring people together. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because every... of its gravitational pull. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's, it's, <laughs> exactly. It's Kevin, dense like a dying you. star, you know? Yeah. 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 Like, spo- spoiler alert, we open the movie with. Spoiler alert, here's the first shot of the movie. <laughs> yeah, spo- well, shut up. I fucking hate you. It's like a diary, almost. Like a vlog. It's a fan fiction movie. <laughs> like, It's the epic journey of one man from low-level gang like member g- to, gang- to another low-level yeah. hitman. Elite hitman. Yeah, basically. It's... Yeah. I, uh, yeah, right? it's hard to explain. So the opening <laughs> scene is the present, and we see him in this... I don't know, like little hideout yeah, across the street it's from the book depository where yeah, some uh, the U.S. Where- government killed JFK. I don't. It's think. some abandoned warehouse, and he keeps looking at his sniper rifle scope at this woman across the way, and we learn that he doesn't want to kill her. He loves her. He has feelings for her. But if the call comes in, he's going to have to shoot her. Right. Which at this point we don't really know who she is, but we all have seen movies before, and we kind of know. And also, we're like, well, don't do it then. Yeah. And then just, <laughs> and then flashback. Yeah, then just and, go and then, do yoga somewhere. And then we find said. out his uh, first gig, which was with. Let me check the chapter titles here. Uh, Frenchie Davis. Yeah, was his first. I don't know, boss. Like, sure, gang leader. Yeah. they worked for mentor. And, mentor, yeah. And we find out his first buddy. kill, which was just Frenchie gave him a gun and told him to kill the dude next to him. And he pulled the trigger and it was empty. It was like, it was my first kill. I mean, I didn't kill him, but Mm -hmm. it felt like I did. (laughs) So he starts bemoaning that he is the only one that takes the job of Hitman professionally in this gang. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Oh my God. (laughs) Fucking three pockets, Jack. Please. (laughs) And we see a comedy scene where everyone's shooting guns at... Three rival gang members as they run away. Yeah. And their they're bullets are sh- like hidden. Uh, everything. Like a walker but, yeah. and a they're, cradle. They're and emptying their, their pockets out of all the shells they have. Yeah, there's the past like six days. hundreds of shells. Yeah. And then he just walks up, three shots, kills all three of them. Yep. And he's just like, these, these people didn't know. Yep. They weren't professional. Yeah. So the way Tom's explaining these scenes and throughout the entire movie, you, you, you to need to think it. of. I, I do. You don't have to. I, you, you. You gave me this out of the kindness of your heart. This is my parting gift. How much is left? I'll chug that shit. Please don't. I like you. Yeah, you have a weak tummy. I do have a weak tummy. We don't want you to... It's fine. I'll just blow down the plane. (laughs) Oh, wait. I don't think you can say those words together. It probably (laughs) (laughs) not. Take him down! (laughs) As he gets tackled by a sky marshal and shits shits liquid all over him. No, 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 no. (laughs) Sir, we need to land the plane now. (laughs) Then... I'm buckling up in here because yeah. I can't move. Yeah. So anyway, our hero uh, gets real tired of uh, 
fancy, for fancy feast or whatever his name is. Well, yeah. So he gets real tired of fancy people not feast. being professional. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he talks about this guy named Fancy Nate and how Fancy Nate is always three to five hours late for everything because he's in that pussy. And they're doing like Getting a drop or a trade off. I think it's like a drug. Yeah, thing. It's, he's doing and a drug. They're waiting for him with Frenchie. And he's, again, five hours late. He's like, oh, well, I had to take a girl home. So our character, Bishop, doesn't like that. So he just pulls out a gun, shoots him. And, and, his, and, and his, his own everyone friends. around him. Yeah. yeah. And Frenchie's like, why would you do that? And he was like, because he's not professional. And he pulls a gun on Frenchie. And Frenchie's like, okay, yeah, yeah we're cool. Mm-hmm. Like, and he just walks off. He's like, I'm yeah. a professional hitman now, yeah. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, I'm a professional. I just sloppily murdered three people, but I'm a professional. He admits right. it wasn't very professional. That's true. And a manic voiceover, he's like, all right, it wasn't cool. I get it, but... Yeah, he's like, his lime green soup pissed me off. I right. had to kill him. Yeah. yeah. So he just walks yeah. off into the rail yard, just like, all right, bye. <laughs> yeah. He one falls of, asleep on the train track. One of the few actual filmmaking things that actually impressed me, which is that comedy reveal of like, man, I wasn't scared of him. Fuck no, I- I'm cool. And it reveals he's got like nine guys around yeah, him. But like, yeah. Actually pretty well done. I like yes. that. So the main guy, I don't remember his name, is something Davis. And he's like, what's the guy's name that killed Fancy Nate? And then Damien Wiles calls Frenchie, the white guy. White guy, yeah. yeah. Not racist guy. The definitely not racist the guy. Super not, definitely not, never racist guy. Right. Calls up Frenchie and is like, give me the name of this guy. Donald Sterling. That's who that dude reminded me of. That's a sports reference. None of you get that. I'm sorry. Okay. Anyway, so our boy is laying in bed with his gun, and he gets fucking kicked in the face and taken. And then he goes to meet a definitely not racist man. Donald Sterling. Yeah. Who's fishing on a pier like a hobo. Yeah. (laughs) Yes. And he gives him a hot dog. And he's surrounded by black men who force him to eat a hot dog. You're working for me. He's like... Okay. Cool. Yeah, but how was that hot dog? He's like, it was all right. It was, it was fine. Very, very bizarre kind of exchange. That was it, well, the hot dog was just a setup. The meat packing plant. He's like, I got oh, a meat packing oh, plant okay, too. Okay, okay, but okay, okay. so no one makes hot dogs better. Okay, so they, so DNR. Jesus, this is definitely not racist. Okay, DNR. Donald Sterling. Takes DNR. Our Free boy pod. to his hideout, to which his... is like a Holiday Inn break room, and a bunch of black guys are making lattes. Yeah. No, you and they're the drinking power. lattes. No, no, no. This is right. And he introduces him to Bishop. Right. I, I mean, know, no, buddy. buddy. Bishop. Bishop's the and then, pot. and then he gets really close to him and he says, "Listen to me, you beautiful black motherfucker. Listen to me, you motherfucker. You piece of shit. You fucker." I love when he does this. Jesus loves when you kill people really cool. You kill them really cool, you stupid fucker, you I'm not racist, I'm not though. racist, fucker. <laughs> and then he's like, I... He leaves. And then the black guy's like, don't do that shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ignore oh, everything like, that white man just said. I've been doing this for 15 years. Yes. Oh, we're just doing a job and just yeah. do a job. It's was fine. This, was this when they were, they were walking through the random, like, yes, like where, warehouse of just black people doing mm-hmm. things? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah where a series casually... of black men look, trying to look really cool are drinking coffees with, like, white foam on the top. Yep. Very cute. And like you said, they didn't do a, a, a tea leaf on it, so... Sorry, you don't get the job here at Starbucks. Yeah, very toxic. Yeah, by the way, this movie was <laughs> is moving like at break, breakneck uh, speed. We are going, going so slow We're through this We're three minutes shit. and five seconds well, into this movie. Well, and that's why it feels like an anime intro, because the announcer's just like, this is what happens, now we're in the present. Yeah, yeah so he learns for a month, and he's like, I don't learn how to shoot things. I learned about human anatomy, poison. Pressure points. Stabbing people. And we get to see those things. And how things to make a latte. In the Holiday yeah. Inn break room. Yeah, he sucks with some vegetable oil with a syringe, and then he points at a dummy with a knife yeah then he's like i can kill people good now right. cut to we are in the furnished break room yes and then we meet the rest of the gang and that's one of who are introduced in a very montage text over yes. a screen way Wait, let, let yes. kevin get excited here for a second you guys aren't as excited about this as i am and i'm so sad get used to it the, yeah <laughs> get that's, that's an excellent point wow that made me sad <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Again, yeah. what were you expecting? What, one of the guys is the fucking Black Ranger. Come on, that's, that's great. Cisco. Doesn't matter. First job, 
go, they kill a guy at his house, and then we find out it was just a ringer for a rival bowling team. Yeah. So yeah. he's like, what the fuck? I'm just killing random ass crackers now? Okay, sure. Quite literally what he says. Yeah. And Basically. then he's like, this job is dope because I got money, and then he shoots some people exactly. at a restaurant. Exactly. Then we see all of the money he has in his new apartment and how great everything is. And then a woman walks in one day, and he's like, I want her to breastfeed my children. He's like, I, I love you. Pump milk into my kids. And he, he walks over to the older black guy, and he's like, that woman's perfect, and I love her. And the black guy's like, if you kill her, you'll go to heck. <laughs> he's like, I don't want to kill her. He's like, also, don't talk to her. Do anything. Yeah. That's Damien Wiles' girl. Yeah. What, what's the Eric Andre thing of like, I wanted to have my daughter. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, that, yeah. like that's exactly what that <laughs> yeah. scene is. Yeah, that's exactly right. Th- then we find out that, yes, that is uh, Donald Sterling's girlfriend, mm-hmm. which is very apropos of Donald Sterling, if you guys know anything about Donald Sterling. We don't. We've established this. I, I also like that the moment I'm like, here's a sports thing. Tom uh, scurried away like a raccoon when you turn the light on. In the yard. <laughs> right. And Sam and I stared at you like deer in a headlight. No, like raccoons that are like, ah, there's no way I'm not yeah. taking this cat yeah. food. <laughs> also, uh, see his tragic past. His dad killed himself after killing his mom. Never explained why. Cut back to where we're back in the present, and we see Damian Wiles <laughs> is beating the shit out of his girlfriend. Yeah, we call yeah, it a few girlfriend. times. We're like, he's going to hit her, and then it's like, He Ooh, did. Yep. Oh, and then he's like, man, I don't bad. know what I'm doing. But wait, I remember one time I loved this girl named Helene. And then we meet. The girl that he actually had a very good relationship with and was together with for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> Comes up to her, starts nagging the shit out of her. She pulls a gun. And he's, he's like, I'm going like, to be an incel now. I'm not scared. Do I Look like, into my eyes. Do I like, do I like scared? <laughs> And she's like, yeah, man, I, yeah. I don't know. You're she says, no, know, but you do look a bit dumb. <laughs> He's like, well, you're ugly and fat, and I wouldn't want to fuck you anyway. Also, what's your number? <laughs> and she's like, ah! <laughs> She's like, wow, you and suck then, at this. And then she fucks really? him. She doesn't fuck him because of that. She's like, I want to see you do your best yeah, Mac. That, and he literally just shows her his gun and is like, oh, oh, <laughs> shake yeah. that ass and loosen it up. And then they're just in his room making the fuck out. And yeah. then dancing. dancing slowly. It's yeah, slow dance. For yeah. some reason. Yeah, that, She's a good looking lady, up. though. She is very what. pretty. I will give her that. So we, uh, we get to see the relationship. Yeah, watch them move grow. Move forward. She works for the government as a hit lady. Yep. She got a license to kill. I'm she can kill anybody. Hit person. Hit person. That's, gen- that's gender neutral. Yeah. We appreciate it. Hit thing. <laughs> and he's upset when she's gone even though he's also killing people and they have like moments of self-reflection like hey should we kill people hey i killed a family in front of all their kids today i'm kind of upset about it yeah. hey okay cool maybe i dump in you though <laughs> maybe at some point we could leave this life and like get a picket fence start a family and they're like ha fuck that shit yeah ha 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 maybe <laughs> <laughs> like, so then it's just Tom like Daddy. another section of them killing people and him working and then we get the best scene of the movie in which she comes back from a trip and yep. he makes her they have like a nice dinner and it looked stuff. pretty good it looked pretty tasty and she gives him this really nice like half of a heart necklace and he's like man this is some corny ass romantic shit fuck you yeah. i'm gonna wear this always and treasure it it was oddly really <laughs> small for his thick neck like right. yeah. like it fits him like a choker, it's a choker. and it fits yeah. her like a hanging pendant like and then she's like you better get over there and spread your butt apart (laughs) and he walks over into the dark and starts uh What's the word? Gyrating. Vibrating? Vibrating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he like, starts doing like a little sexy strip tease for yeah. her. And she's like, and I liked, I liked it. No, Tom, he starts doing a strip tease. Yeah. Basically. I liked it that it wasn't her. That was refreshing. It was refreshing. It was, nice. it was very refreshing. Very before, it, very before it's time. She was like, mm, like pressing her tits together and shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, any, <coughs> any editing chance I get where like, if we're talking and we're like, oh, and then she says, I try and cut in the actual line. Cause it's a very like, okay. Show don't tell thing. But so us explaining what happens next, I'm just going to let it happen. Yeah. Roll the clip. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It just fucking boom, boom, boom. Right? <laughs> exactly. Why is it fucking hinged in the middle? Yeah. Uh, like every time I see it, it's a surprise. Because yeah. God had to make it that way. It was too large otherwise. Oh! oh, shit. oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Oh. oh 
my god. It wasn't even hard. Yeah, I know. Jesus it's just Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, that was uh Yeah, that was it, us screaming our fucking lungs yeah, out because it was it, the funniest fucking shit that, to see. That's what I was just gonna the ask. Gorgeous silhouette, like tasteful light oh, line it's on fucking, the edge it's like of the Batman. Of a, of a, of a large, large, that's exactly that's yeah, the first thing dog. I thought. Yeah. A very like, a fucking huge hog. <laughs> yes. It was well manicured, it was like like circumcised, it was yeah, and like the light was on it. He was just like a silhouette in the background, it's like fucking schlong. Well, another moment of actual good filmmaking because that light beam silhouetted the dong shape. Yeah. Perfectly. Oh, it was oh. beautiful. You could tell that he was uncircumcised. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It was uh oh, it was perfect. We did miss this scene, which is they are given a job to kill a key witness for the federal government, and they are given two days, so Buddy's like, fuck that shit, and just walks into the house, kills every federal agent and the key witness, and comes back and is like, you're a racist asshole. And yeah. he's like, then he goes on a fucking, I have a dream, I'm not a racist oh, speech. Shit. Yeah. Oh my As god, god that's America right. the great like plays behind him and swells, and it's insane. I'm a believer in the teachings of your great leader that a man should be judged by his character and not by his color. I take black kids off the streets. I clean them up, I give them a job. Look at Bishop here. Look what a fine young man he turned out to be. You don't know how you hurt me by what you said. But I tell you what, your evil words are not gonna get me down because I, like your leader, I have a dream. And I dreamed that blacks, and whites, and reds, and yellows will be brought together hand in hand as one. And under my divine guidance, we will eliminate racism from this great country of ours. But as they are having aggressive sex right after the dong shot, mm -hmm. it's intercut with Buddy being murdered. Oh, yeah! Yes. yeah. yeah. And yeah. I don't remember any of this because my eyes were watering and s sealed Coming. shut as I was scream laughing yeah. my ass off because that black cock was the funniest fucking thing we've ever seen in a movie in this episode. He, he looked, we have laughed that hard before, but it's from shit we've said. Yes. The movie has never made us laugh that hard. 100%. So that was it was amazing. I, I love it. I, I, re like, I remember his face looking so uncomfortable. Like when, you, when, like when you're naked with someone for the first time and you're like, Sorry. I hope <laughs> this is what you were expecting. Yeah. You know, Sorry, I'm not thing. smaller. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Like he says. All I'm saying is that modern movies need to take a page out of this movie's book. We need more full frontal dong. Right. Yeah. Where so, are my kings at? All right. Right. <laughs> Start laying pipe. Motherfucker. Right. So, so sticks are the funniest fucking thing in the planet. <laughs> Especially, well, well, there's so one. I think that's what makes it so fun, though, is it's so unexpected. They're like, oh, that's an actual fucking penis. Oh yeah, I totally thought it was Not, just gonna be his boxers. Or they're gonna cut it like where that V starts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not just no. full dong. Yeah. I was like, okay, bold. Right. So we saw that, and we're, we were just blinded <laughs> by it. And then they yeah, started. Dude, it was also. Uh, Fucking enormous. Yeah, it <laughs> it wasn't even man. hard. No, no. It was, it was, no. Yeah. No, they, oh, those. Man. Fuck all our white people superior, superior race shit. They are there's the a, best. There's, <laughs> they win. There's a South Park episode where they talk about uh, Butters trying to catch up on South Park, and all he can talk about is the dicks on the show. Yeah. And he talks about like. Well, every time you see a dick on the show, it's like soft and it's hanging because like a, a hard dick is aggressive. It's very like, yeah, it would make someone uncomfortable, but show it. Fuck it. It's fine. Yeah. If you're, if you're already showing dick, might as well show hard. So maybe there's levels of like, okay, you can hang dong, but not hard. That would have an been erection. Too, well, see, they, like, they, they, <laughs> they tried it and then test audiences were like, man, that's, that's the scariest shit in 3D. You can't do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, it's supposed like, to be this. Grandma lost a fucking eye, man. It's supposed to be this sensitive moment. And that it takes all the sensitivity out of it when that thing's raring to go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's very true. Yeah, that's one hundred percent like true. Yeah, reaching across the room at her, yeah. and she was like yeah. petting it from <laughs> right. You wanted to like a cat you wanted to the feather, pick it up like a newborn. Like that's a sensitive moment, not fucking like fucking hit it like a speed bag. <laughs> but we're used to tits and lady bush in these movies. It was so nice to have fucking dog. It was amazing. A, a, a breath of fresh dawn. Right. And penetration would have been neat, but it, I feel like it would have taken away from the artsy dawn. Well, it's like a couple dong. of those movies that, you, you know, like, 
it's because there's nothing sensitive and like loving about porn. I, Wait, I, not I, even stepbrother enters stepsister while oh, stepmom watches. Dot exe. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hung dong aside, so they're like, it's the best part of the movie. We can no, talk about is, this for right hours. There. Uh, then Thanksgiving rolls around. Yeah. Literally, it says Thanksgiving, and we're Which, like, okay, this is the most Tarantino scene in the movie. It's wild. So he's like, I'm gonna make Thanksgiving. I got the Jiffy Mix cornbread going. I'm gonna make black collard greens, black eyed peas. I'm gonna get ham hocks. It's gonna be delicious. I never cook, but I have this recipe. It's awesome. He gets a call from the guy. We don't know who it is. It's someone saying, it's like, just, you gotta go do this hit. And he's like, no, I don't work weekends or holidays. And he's like, well, it says you do. He's like, no, get this guy to do it. He can't. Get Milkman to do it. Milkman's in D.C. Why the fuck is Milkman in D.C.? Doesn't matter. You gotta do it. He's like, okay, fine, I'll do it. So he calls up Sal and the other guy, the cleaners, and he's like, okay, I'm gonna be at the, this. The meat packing plan is yeah. how that pays off. Yeah, yeah. He's like, I'm gonna be at this place. And they're like, sure, whatever, fine. And so he goes and he gets a laundry bag. He goes as a laundry guy, shoots the dude in the fucking head, stuffs a toupee in his mouth. Then, uh uh-oh, door's opening. His hooker comes in. Shoots her dead. And he's like, shit. And it starts being like a comedy of errors. Literally like a fucking slapstick comedy. Yeah, again, it's like a comedy scene. It was very strange. The lady's still alive and she like wiggles out of his car and ping-pongs down the street. Shit, I gotta go to the store and get some lard and ham hocks for my collard greens. My collard greens needs to thing. Calls up the guys because they've ignored his call. And he's like, where are you? I need you to do a pickup. They're like, we don't do pickups today. Super busy. So he does the pickup and then so goes like, to their butcher well, shop to get, get human ham meat. Hocks. Thanksgiving scene. He's yeah. got to propose to her. Uh, yeah, goofy show shit up. happens. Yada yada yada. Yeah. She doesn't show up. Yeah, and he's like, I know she's dead. Called all these government agencies after waiting a couple of days. No one knew who the fuck she was. So obviously, she gave him like a fake name. Yeah, or she's dead. Whatever. Or she dead. Doesn't matter. So he he mourns a little bit. Yeah, he mourns a little bit, but he's still doing jobs, it seems. And then he learns, like, he gets the job. He gets called in to do the watch sting of the dude's wife because she is cheating on him, so he thinks. And he's like, hey, man, I'm, like, tired. Yeah, we're finally in present day, by the yeah. way. He's like, can I change with, like, Omar and sit up in there all day? Because I'm sad and shit. And they're like... Sure, that's fine. So yeah, he's, it's just, he gets a call and it's at 9 p.m., kill her. If she leaves the apartment, kill her. If you get a phone call before then though, do not kill her. Yes. Repeat it back to me. He's like, okay, repeats it back. And he's like, do it again. He's like, what the fuck? Sure. Repeats it again. And he's like, man, I'm really have to kill this woman. And so he starts watching her and we see the, like the day goes on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She leaves and he's like, ah, Fuck. (laughs) He goes after her, trails her a little bit, and then she's like, oh, you're really bad at following me. He's like, what? No one's following. Who who are you? And she's like, shut the fuck up. Like a really dark moment where she's like, go ahead. Put it right here. Better off dead anyway. It's better off than being a slave. And then he like, has this, this whole is, this is fucked. internal conflict of if I shoot her, I lose my soul, just like Buddy said. Mm-hmm. But then she's free of all of this. So it's the clock hits nine and a phone rings. And he's like, right before. And that's, right before, that's a yeah. signal to not kill her. Mm-hmm. And he shoots her. Yeah. He kills this woman. I think his line was like, if what Buddy said was true, and I just swapped my soul for hers. Enjoy heaven, baby. So he gets a phone call and the boss is like, hey, you got the signal, right? He's like, no. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he did. He's like, oh, he okay, like, cool. Yeah. He's like, so everything worked out well? Yeah. Oh, so she's alive and I can go visit her? No. no. <laughs> Why? Wait, you got Are the you... signal though, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did. So she's alive. It's like talking to no. a, <laughs> a bashful four-year-old. <laughs> yeah. It's like, how, how, how is she Hi, Uncle Sam. Sam. Do you like Hi. school? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. You have lots of friends. Yeah. <laughs> Did you murder that woman? No. <laughs> oh, you remember the OJ trial too? <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, okay, Every great. Episode. I'm going to kill you. So we just see him like preparing. And then it's just the greatest hits of him murdering people. It's, it, it's, it's, well, you, we mentioned earlier that this game felt like the, like the cutscene compilation of a Grand Theft Auto game. Oh, Kevin, yeah. Moonwalking and shooting. He did do that. Yeah. Cut. Yeah. Yeah. Cut that in right here. 
What the fuck is happening? His eyes are moon yeah. He's yeah. moonwalking. So cool. Everyone, he's moonwalking. He's <laughs> Action montage introduced to of like, this is Omar. This is this is oh, Cisco. Yeah. This you is, know the people we didn't give a shit Vaughn. about. Vaughn. Yeah. This is he fights the Black Ranger. Come he on, guys. Fights the Black Ranger and he shoots yeah. him. Yeah, you know the people we didn't give a shit about. Back. And then a dude headbutts him and he block. He dodges out of the way and the guy headbutts a fucking nail and right through his own face, right yep. through his head, all the way through. We're not gonna show it though. Oh, show it. No, they're gonna fucking oh, show it. Yeah, right. nice. I mean, okay. dude, oh, it comes out the back, too. Dude, oh, they wow. showed a man's penis. They're not gonna yeah, not <laughs> show skull impalement. And then, uh, yeah, he shoots a guy's leg off that's trying to do karate at him. No! I was gonna blow his foot away. Hey! Oh, shit! He called it. And then he shoots the white guy. He shoots the white guy up like five times, and it looks. I thought he got shot in like the chest or the gut. Yeah. No, just his shoulder. Yeah, he, he took got, that he like, winged a little bit terribly. Just like, oh, He's like, this oh, is what oh, getting oh, shot is? Yeah. Oh my god. I can't believe I've been doing this to people for so fucking long. I feel horrible. Is this the first time feelings I, is? I've ever yeah, been this hurt? Is feelings? Yeah, exactly. Final thing. He's taking his money. He's like, if I'm going to hell, might as well go to Vegas first. Got a new car. He's like, senses something, and suddenly it guns to the back of his head. Yeah. And who is it? It's his girlfriend. Uh, of course. Yeah. What, and what she's is it? like Halsey or something. Well, and she's holding. <sighs> Lee. I will say she's holding a deagle in the exact wrong way. The gun is like right in front of her face. Yeah. If she set Click. that fucker off, she'd break her own goddamn nose. <laughs> well, she wasn't going to, and she's like, "Oh, I was hired by him as a contingency plan." Mm -hmm. And he's like, Kill well, you. "So you gonna fill a contract?" And she's like, "That would be the professional like, thing to do." He's like, but, "So I was Plan B." Speaking of Plan B. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> camera pans down. Yeah, she's like, Prego! She's He's like, child. Oh, I got big, I got big, huge cums in my pussy, and <laughs> now baby. Hold on, there was a great part where she said, like, a big word, and he was just like, what? Conundrum. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah! But in this case, we have what could be considered a conundrum. A co what? A conundrum, a puzzle. Huge dick. Bad vocabulary, you know? So, <laughs> the American dream. she's like, I can either star. shoot you right now, or you can take responsibility and help me raise this kid. And he's like, get over here. Get that gun out of my face. And they get in the car and they're driving away. She's, she's like, damn, I'm about to smoke you and the kid right now and shit. And they're like, ah, playful banner of killing each other. And he's like, now we're just like you. We're going to be just like you. Yeah, right. Yeah, Excellent. and that's the movie, and that it was, was fucking movie. amazing, it and was... I loved every frame of it, and it was great, even the, f like, five and a half minute conversation about the difference between cornbread and crackling bread, and... Yeah, which, that, I learned something That part today. dragged a little like, bit. No, that did not drag. Fuck you, I, I now something. know what crackling bread yeah, is. Yeah, I did not know. Now I actually want to make crackling bread. Okay. See, Sounds this good. was an educational program. Fuck you, Kevin. Right, use some I'm pork sorry. belly, get some jalapeno in there, with some cheddar, delicious. Hell yeah. All right, so that was the movie. That um was... Yeah. I, I, let me just get it out of the way. This was worth a dollar. This was absolutely worth a dollar. This was an amazing movie. Just I don't know which part specifically was worth a dollar other than the penis. I was going to say that, yeah. Dollar. Okay, so how about this? Let, let's field this question twice. How much does the penis add to your score? No. Ooh, well, okay. well, yes, but no. All right. Now I want to go around the room again and ask, so there's a minute inside this movie that got cut off, and it is when you see his dick. <laughs> Is it still worth a dollar? I think we can all agree yeah, with it's, Dick, it's, it's dollar. worth a dollar. Yeah. dollar. dollar. The more dollar, interesting dollar. question is, what it's worth if no Dick? And for me, it is still worth a dollar. Okay. Because it was very, very b funny. It was bizarre. It had like very strange pacing. It had very, it had comedy in it for some weird reason. It had like drama and action. None of it was good, but that's what made it so fun. So it was still without a big black hog. It was still worth a dollar. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I, I think so. And Tom? Yeah, yeah, full dollar. I loved this movie. It was stupid and ridiculous, and Trench was dope as hell. He was... There was a fight where he was just getting his ass kicked by a, a karate guy and just shot his leg off. Right. Like, yeah, yeah. It was it's, a it's, it was a ridiculous movie. Spark Black Ranger for me. I think that's. I it. liked it. it. I liked it a lot. I thought it was super fun. I'm glad I was here for it. I'm gonna give it 85 cents. That's fine. Well, you're wrong. No, with Dick, it's like fourteen dollars. <laughs> yeah, how yeah. much is like, a pay per view on, on HBO? Like, yeah. I can't, I can't say that this movie didn't have that dick. It had that dick, and it deserves a dollar for that dick. <laughs> but I fucking, I actually had to leave for a scene. I yeah, you left for the uh, Thanksgiving. Yeah, I hated that scene. It made me uncomfortable, and I wanted to get out of the room. There was a lot to hate about this movie, 
but it had a big black goofy dong in it, and I fucking love that. That's the hardest I've laughed at any of these movies. So. Yep. All Hell right. yeah, dollar. But 85 cents with that. Okay. That's fair. That works. Yeah. Like, but that that high was like the center pole in a uh, uh, circus tent. Yeah, it absolutely. It lifted the whole thing up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 100%. But I, like, and even you were coming down to the edge, but you were still way up there. You're like, oh, fuck, man. You just keep remembering the dick. This was fun. I mm-hmm. like this one. Tom, I'm glad I'm glad you could be here for this one. Because, yes, I think the yeah. stars aligned for you to allow it to be here. Right. I believe in Jesus now, so keep yeah. your mouth shut. Because you're not racist. Jesus. I'm not racist. And yeah. you like killing people really cool. The man that directed this movie wrote Dragon Ball Evolution. Wow. Hey, uh, Aaron. Why do black people like Dragon Ball Z so much? It's true. Uh, <laughs> I can't tell if this is a lead into a joke or if he's genuinely no, no, asking I'm, the, I'm actually asking the you. darkest person here, which doesn't really say much. I'm just, we went to Comic-Con. It's just a fact of life, man. I don't know, it's, mm. I've like, I, I read this something about it. starting to feel weird. <laughs> Yeah. It's just some, a fact of life, all right? Oh, shut up, shut up. I read Let an me article. say this. <laughs> I read an article about how it's just <laughs> like the f- Goku. Oh, no, 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 like no, 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 I mean, it was a good read. <laughs> <laughs> I asked it as a joke. I didn't need a real oh. answer. <laughs> you just you commit to your joke person. so hard. It's like, well, <laughs> we just noticed that black guys like fucking Dragon Ball Z. I like Dragon Ball Z. That just that just means that one of my. Uh... <laughs> Stop. All right, we need to end this immediately. Yeah. Time to leave for two months. Yep. Cool. We'll do. Wish I could do it right now. Yeah. <laughs>